Good morning, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that first clip is me trying to rearrange my boob. Uh, <laughs> welcome to my channel. If you are new here, that's not going to close. My name's Adele. Hello, welcome back. It's Saturday. And yeah, we're going to the gym. I went to bed at 1 a.m. last night. I had computer issues and I'm a little bit tired, but we're going to go to the gym. And I'm wearing my new activewear. I just can't figure out if I take the padding out or not. Hang on. <laughs> I think I do take the padding out, guys. It's my first time wearing this activewear, and I gotta say, I'm a fan. I'm gonna put on this jacket, because I think it's really cute. Oh, it is. It is. All right, guys, let's go to the gym. I got in before the rush of people. Thank goodness. And now I'm going to go home, have a quick shower because I'm going to get a pedicure, guys. I was meant to get one last night and so I moved it to today and the only time they had was 9.30. I guess that is a nice way to start the day. I'm parked in front of an orange wall, that's why I look orange, but I've had breakfast, had a shower and now I'm running in to get my pedi. I'm so excited. No need to panic, guys, because the shop's not even open yet. But my appointment is at 9.30 and there's no one here. Maybe that's them now. I am a sucker for punishment because today I woke up, I was like, I'm not having technology issues. And then I decide to set up a whole new work from home setup. And so I've got the dock for my Surface Pro, my Surface Studio, I've got a mouse. Storage, so we don't have the problem that we had last night. Port cable thing and a new screen. And so I'm gonna pack up the other stuff and we're gonna do it together. Also, I did just get my pedi. <laughs> the bottom of my feet is probably so yuck because I walked barefoot out of the salon to the car and then barefoot into the house because I had socks. I didn't want to put socks on to my freshly painted toes, you know? All right, so let's go and take apart my desk. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. So here is my old setup, guys. It's actually very messy, like the cords and whatnot, and I'm working off a desk that's not a desk but given the size of my room like my bed is literally right here so it just works really well for me and the height is okay once I'm in the chair but this is the before and I'm going to show you the after. You know what I'm actually not bad <laughs> with taking it down so hopefully when I rebuild it it's just as seamless. I'm worried about breaking a nail though so I'm being very careful. Now, these screens and the equipment I'm taking off belongs to my employer and I have bought a new screen which is perfect for editing. It is a 4K monitor which apparently makes a difference when you edit your videos which I'm excited about and so I want to set it all up this weekend because on Monday I'm going to Sydney and I'm not flying to Sydney. I'm actually driving to Sydney because I need to drop off my car. I have a company car. And I also need to take back the work equipment because this is my last week of full-time employment. <laughs> Four weeks ago, I did resign from my job and I didn't tell you guys because I wanted to have my last day and the vlog go live after that. I needed to process it on my own. And I will talk way more about this, but that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Look at me dropping a bomb on the first day of the vlog. <laughs> I'm excited. It's a good decision. And I can't wait to tell you guys, oh no, more about it. It looks so much better. I'm gonna cry, let me show you. This is the setup. So I've got the one screen, it's an LG. The guy at JB sold it to me because he was like, it's 4K and you edit YouTube, you need to edit it in 4K. And then I've got my laptop, I've got my little teddy, I love him. And I'm gonna pop the chair in. It just makes my room seem so much more open. And then my dad, I don't know if you can see it, but he wrote his name on the dust. So now I've got to wipe the window, but oh, I'm gonna clean it now. I have edited two episodes of your safe space which is exciting because that means during the week i'm not gonna have to edit the episode for next sunday which is great because i've got a crazy week and i just ordered uber eats for dinner i've been literally editing all day and i've got two youtube videos to edit tonight so i'm gonna eat and then give myself a break because 
I want to edit with like I switched on mine. I think it's here. <gasps> it's here. The food's here. Yeah, let's unpack. We got Japanese. One thing I've learned since the girls been back home, I can use chopsticks better. <laughs> Um, it's so funny. I don't think my parents uh, used Uber Eats before I moved back. No, I didn't even know who Uber Eats And now mum does her own Uber Eats orders. I do. I love that. What do we have, Dad? Unbox it. We've got chicken skewers. Is that what you call them? Yeah, yakitori, the best. Octopus. Oh, love beans. Edamame. Edamame <laughs> beans. What? Love beans! Napkins. Well, they gave us so many napkins. Chopsticks. Thank you. More chicken skewers. Yeah, just pop that down. Uh, these will be... Spring rolls. Vegetarian spring rolls. Don't put them in. Mm. I ordered these. Look at these. Bao buns. Bao buns. Oh, yes. I love them. And I got that soft shell crab. I felt like that's a soft shell crab. You can actually eat the crab. There it is. There, it's sticking out of the bag. Now they know what soft shell crab is. You can actually eat the whole thing. Legs do not everything. Oh, something else in the bag. What is it? All right. Oh, we've got a spoon. I don't know why, but we've got spoons. Oh, oh, was there anything else? Did you figure something? I ordered a soup. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. oh, well, you better ring them. Miso soup. They won't bring it. I'll just complain. Well, they, oh, they didn't. I was cold. Everything so was they're like cold. McDonald's when they forget my Big Mac sauce. Aww. I had to give up on editing. I'm halfway through the vlog. I'm going to try and edit the KFC video and the rest of the vlog tomorrow after I go to the gym. See how I go with that. Last night really ruined all my planning anyway good night guys i'll see you tomorrow morning good morning guys happy sunday it's 9 a.m i am in my pjs i just got up i needed to sleep in and i have two youtube videos to edit today so that's my top priority i'm not going to the gym i'm not even having a shower i'm literally just editing right now so let me come back when i'm done i will show you when I'm done, I'll show you. When I'm done, we'll then go do something nice. Either get a massage, have a shower, go to the gym, something to like fill the cup back up. But, oh goodness. Friday night really ruined it all for me because I would have edited the podcast on Friday, could have edited the YouTube videos yesterday, but because I edited two podcasts yesterday, I just physically could not hear the sound of my voice anymore. And I got like 20 minutes into the vlog and I had to just go to bed. <laughs> but let's get it done. I have faith in myself, I'm gonna get it done quickly. Let's do it. It's 2.30, I'm still in my pajamas. I've been trying to edit and upload both videos but I cannot export them and I don't know what's going on. I haven't even had a shower, I'm so stressed and I have to pack because I need to go to Sydney tomorrow. It's fucked. I don't know why it's taking so long to export. I'm still in my PJs. I edited the vlog. I've edited the KFC video and they're not exporting and I don't know why. I think it's to do with the storage. I've actually had enough of fucking technical difficulties this whole weekend. Friday night and now today. I haven't gone to the gym. I haven't had a shower. The sun's out. I think I need to go for a walk and calm myself down. Because I'm just feeling so fucking angry. Why can't it just be simple? This is literally a new computer. I've got a hard drive in there. I have a hard drive in there. This is what happens. It gets stuck here. Like it just does not export. It stops at like the P. It's really frustrating guys. <laughs> I lost this video and I just had to re-edit it again. It is currently 5.08 PM. And it's finally almost exporting. It better fucking work or else I'm probably going to throw this 
whole laptop and screen out the window. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna use this video editor ever again because today has pissed me off so badly, so badly. I've had the day from hell today. <sighs> I finally had a video upload on YouTube, my KFC one. The vlog I have to re-edit again completely because I had them both saved in the video editor but I couldn't export it. I tried to fix the video editor, I tried to like repair it and then I uninstalled it and it got rid of everything, all my work after I had just spent like six hours editing both videos. And so I quickly re-edited the KFC one, put that up. I went for a walk, I cried, had dinner. I feel so sick as well, I think, because I'm so on edge. My stomach is like in a huge knot. But I did just wash my hair. I have to pack because I've not packed one thing. It is 7.30 p.m. I've not packed one thing and I leave for Sydney at literally 5.30 tomorrow morning. <laughs> We're going to do this. I'm going to quickly get changed, film a review with mum and dad, and then start packing, edit this vlog, and get to sleep. That's my plan tonight. It is 1am and I've managed to get the vlog exporting. There is definitely something wrong with this video editor and so I'm never using it again after today. I had to get this sorted because I don't know if I've told you this but I'm driving to Sydney tomorrow and I'm going to be in the car for like nine hours so I don't have time to do it in the morning. I don't, I'm, I'm wasting so much time driving tomorrow. And if you're like, why are you driving Adele? Uh, the car that I have is a company car. And so I have to give it back. I have to take it to Sydney. <laughs> so yeah, I've got to buy a car. Which I haven't started looking yet, but I'll obviously take you with me. I'm a bit stressed about that. I've had a work car in the last two jobs that I've had, which is really cool. But yeah, that's one thing that is a bit of an inconvenience about quitting my job. But there's so many more good things about it and I am excited but today really stressed me so I need to go to bed because I'm waking up in four and a half hours and I'll take you with me tomorrow. Good night guys. Goodbye. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Morning guys it is 5 30 I'm about to leave. Let's drive to Sydney. I'm a bit stressed but we'll be fine. We're gonna do it together. <laughs> it's a final week. Let's go. Is that Franklin barking outside at 5.30? Hi guys, it is quarter past eight. I have been driving since 6 a.m. I didn't leave until six. I've already had my second coffee and I am currently at a, I'm at Benella. I don't know where the fuck that is, but uh, I'm at a restroom. So let's go to the toilet. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have taken this camera in there because I was like shove this into my bra and I was holding the camera like in my neck like a phone trying not to touch anything even touching the door I'm probably being dramatic but even no I'm not it's stunk in there oh the worst part about road trips <laughs> all right I need to get a wriggle on let's go I'm at another stop guys I will take you in with me but my mum packed me this very cute little lunch. Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> Guys, she made these little pizzas yesterday, which I didn't show you because I was having such a bad day. And look what she put in here. <laughs> I love you, mum. 29 years old and she packed my lunch. I wonder how everyone feels about that when they don't like that I live at home, they're gonna die that she packed my lunch. I love my mom and I love that she made me lunch, okay? All right, I need to pee. Sorry, this this vlog is gonna be wild because I'm taking you into the toilet. I'm not taking you into the toilet again. I shouldn't have done that, but I'm telling you when I need to pee. I just ate my pizzas and I've put on an eye mask because yes, I'm gonna drive with this eye mask on. This is a caffeine one. I'm not feeling tired, but I just thought, why not zhuzh myself up a little bit <laughs> while I'm road tripping? And I'm probably gonna have my muesli bar in about half an hour. But I'm feeling good, I stretched my legs, I did some squats in the car park just then. That toilet was also so much better. I probably should have taken you in so that you could see. But uh, yeah, let's, let's drive. <laughs> 
can't believe I'm driving like this. People are gonna be like this bitch. My windows aren't tinted by the way, so let's go. Guys, I just made it. It is quarter to four. That's how long it took me to drive. And I did stop once more after I spoke to you guys last just to get fuel and stretch my legs, but here we are. Here we are. All right, guys, I'm gonna go out. I am still on work time, so I'm gonna do an hour's worth of work and then check into the hotel and I'll take you with me. I'm dressed so casually, no makeup. I, at this point, I don't think it really matters because it's like 4 p.m., so I've got an hour left. And I was driving, so I was not gonna be wearing business attire. Oh, I gotta empty this car now. I'm a bit sad to say goodbye to this car. I've driven this car for nearly three years. End of an era. My little Mazda 3, I love you. It's been so good to me. I think I'm gonna buy another Mazda. Anyway, let me get my shit. I have checked in. I am exhausted. I'm sitting on the floor. This room is so big. I'm gonna have dinner. I ordered a large fish bowl. Yes, I did. I'm messed up. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have got the large because I actually can't eat it anymore, but I'm gonna try one more mouthful. And I sil sillily, stupidly said yes to filming a brand deal tonight. It's gonna be a get ready with me for bed, which is fine. It's not too strenuous, but my brain cells are literally fried. <laughs> Guys. I'm eating the rice. Delish. My mum just sent me the cutest video. Look at it. It's Franklin. Huh? What can you hear? At the door. <laughs> oh. Also, you guys are so funny. You're like, why did you drive to Sydney? Why wouldn't you fly? And I don't want to be like, oh, like I've quit just yet. I'm going to, I'm going to obviously tell you guys on Friday or on Saturday on TikTok, tell you in this vlog, and then I'll make a separate video about it. But <laughs> you're already on to me. You're already on to me. You guys are smart. That's why. All right. Time to shower and get ready for bed. I'm showered. I'm fully moisturized. I filmed content for this company. My collab is with Chemist Warehouse and Jergens and... This is for their body butter collection and I just put this all over myself and I smell so heavenly. My skin is so soft and not sticky. I really don't like body moisturizers that leave you feeling tacky. What the hell? Why haven't I not jumped on this sooner? Anyway, I'm excited to bring this ad for you guys because it slaps. <laughs> Highly recommend. I learnt my lesson last time not to bash my head into that because it's not soft at all. But I'm going to head into bed now and I will see you guys in the morning. I realized I did not bring the charger for this camera. <sighs> so I need to go get a charger for it tomorrow because I simply cannot vlog this week. This is an important week for me to vlog. So we'll get a charger in the morning and we'll go from there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <sighs> so tired. No walk today. I need food. I need to like recover from the drive. But anyway, I'm gonna have a shower and get ready for work. Let's do it. I'm ready for the day. I went to go put my hands in my pockets, but here is the vibe, guys. My hair and makeup came out really like nicely as well, and I'm so happy because I just shot all of the content for my Gymshark collab on Thursday. Well, I just took the photos for my story. I've got to film a TikTok tomorrow, but I'm so happy. I feel productive at the gym shop <laughs> I can't get that song out of my head who is she who is she okay let's go to work I'm not a very good vlogger today guys I just got home it is literally 7 20 can we even see that I charged the camera today someone had the cord that I needed in the office so I used that and I was under the pump, so that's why I could not vlog. I also went out for lunch and I couldn't obviously film this because I was with somebody and yeah, it just was not the vibe, but uh, it was raining as well, so I just got drenched. I'm gonna have a shower and get ready for bed. I still need to order something for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Lunch was really, really, really good. We went to this place. It is called, what is it called? Let me tell you, because if you are in Sydney, I highly recommend it. If you live near Chatswood, also recommend it. Mama Mulan. Oh, mwah. it was 
delicious. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for bed, order some food, and yeah, relax. Because I'm still wrecked from the drive yesterday. And I've done like not enough steps, not enough walking. My hips are sore. Mentally, I'm a bit frazzled. But yeah. What should I eat for dinner? I don't know. Look what I ordered. <laughs> I got the same one that I got last time. It's so delicious. I am, it smells so good. I'm very happy. I'm so glad I got this. It was a good decision. Let me put you there. I feel like that's a good spot to put you. I'm smashing half the pizza. Not bad. It's a small pizza, but it slaps. It's just so cold already. But that's okay. Can't wait to get into bed. <sighs> Why am I eating like this? What's wrong with me? I'm so happy I charged the camera. <laughs> I was really worried about that. And I also want to say thank you for being so lovely on my last two YouTube videos. I was stressing hard on Sunday. And you guys are just so understanding and sweet. And I love you. So thank you. If you're my hairdresser and you're watching this, sorry, I'm so sorry, but I'm so over my hair. Honestly, it's just not sitting right at all, at all. And <laughs> I'm literally cutting with these beauty scissors. Anyway, I ate the whole pizza, guys. It was delicious. And I'm gonna go to bed now. Oh my God, this is dangerous. I gotta stop. I have like no attachment to my hair, so I don't really care. Guys, I'm not unhinged. I've put the scissors away. I'm feeling okay. I have been known in my lifetime to cut my own hair here and here and there. The worst time was when we were in lockdown. I had short hair, I had short blonde hair, and the under part, which is what's happening now, grew out longer than like the actual rest of my haircut. I don't know how it happened. Anyway. I took to my hair with massive ass scissors and I went to town. And then when I went back to my hairdresser, she's like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> and I'm like, it was annoying me, okay? And so that's a sign that I need to go get a haircut. Because when I'm cutting my own hair, that means time to get a haircut. Which I think I'm going to go to the hairdressers maybe next week or the week after. Because I'm having a photo shoot. I'm doing my own photo shoot because I want to take new headshots for my LinkedIn. Because obviously I'm quitting my corporate job to chase my creative dreams, go full-time with my podcast, full-time with YouTube, full-time with TikTok, full-time with content. And so I want my picture of me and my LinkedIn to reflect that new chapter of my life. So yeah, I'm in my creative era and I'm going to get my hair done and then we're going to have a fun photo shoot. So I'm very excited. I love my LinkedIn picture now. The girl that took it is her name's Miranda she's amazing and I think she took beautiful shots of me but that girl is not me anymore and I don't feel a connection to it so yeah I'm gonna take some new ones and we're gonna get a haircut but for now I'm gonna try and refrain from cutting my own hair but good night guys I will see you in the morning we're gonna go for a walk tomorrow because I feel like shit and I don't want to feel like shit anymore <laughs> Good morning, guys. I just got back from a walk. It is 7.30. I am so happy that I woke up and went for one because you know what? It starts the day right and I'm here for the endorphins, even though, of course, I'd rather the gym. Better than nothing. So it was nice and the sun's out. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a beautiful, crisp, sunny morning. I didn't even need a jacket. That's the only... No, it's not the only good thing about Sydney, but when I lived here... I really love the weather because it's just so cold in Melbourne. If you live in Melbourne, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's have a shower. I'm still so like tired, but we carry on. I also think I'm going to have one of those little boss coffees because I just don't think I want a hot coffee unless it's my Nescafe, which I did not bring. Okay, I'm ready. I'm so annoyed. I was meant to bring my black blazer and I didn't pack it. I am going to have to... Just wear this in and then try not to panic because, yeah, I feel naked. 
I really feel naked. I feel naked without the jacket. I feel naked without my earrings. What was I doing on Sunday night? Oh, that's right. I was having a meltdown over the laptop. That's correct. All right, let's head into the office. Guys, I'm in the city. I'm meeting my auntie for dinner. I have not been vlogging during the day because I'm going. Everybody wants to have lunch with me or have a meeting with me and I literally have not had a chance to film. Anyway, my auntie, it's my mum's sister. I'm meeting her at 222 Pitt Street. Angel numbers. Should I go inside? Can I go inside? Angel numbers. All right, let's wait here for her. That light is very harsh on my face. Someone just walked past. I, I'm not, I've not had a good hair day or a good outfit day, but here we are. Anyway, my auntie is in Sydney. She doesn't live here. She's just here for the week as well. I never really see her too much in Melbourne because she lives so far away from me. And yeah, I'm excited. I just got home guys, my goodness. We went to the art house. It's on Pitt Street and it was actually so nice. We both had steaks. I didn't film on this camera because we were just chatting and it was so nice. She, she looks very similar to my mum. Let me show you the photo that we took. But I sent, I sent the photo to my mum and I was like, hi. And she goes, cuties, I'm jealous, love you both. And she goes, you've got mail, Kmart, Jazz Handmade and Grey Lines, which means my Kmart little coffee holders arrived. Last week, you guys tagged me in so many TikToks and I saw all of the tags. I was like, I need to buy these right now. And the other good thing that happened today, people this morning when I posted my selfie in here, commented on how nice my hair looked. Is that a convenience after I cut it yesterday? <laughs> no. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm exhausted. I'm gonna quickly have a shower, wash my face and get into bed. I'm ready for bed. Good night, guys. I am tired. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wash my hair because it's so gross. It's very oily. I didn't even bring dry shampoo because realistically, I'm flying home on Friday. And so, yeah, I won't, it's very annoying because I won't, like I'll wash my hair and then it'll get oily. <laughs> anyway, good night. I'm so tired, guys. Honestly, I need a holiday, but I already have like a busy calendar and work scheduled posts this week, but it's like all fun work. It's really, it's really been a lot this week because I'm handing over a lot of stuff and having meetings and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's just, I can't believe this is legit. Anyway, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Why do I look so fucked? <laughs> Let me have a shower and come back. I feel hungover. You know what? I've not been having a very good sleep this week. I think I'm like a bit anxious about quitting my very secure job. <laughs> I know it's the right decision. I know I'm not, I don't doubt it, but I think it's just change. I mean, I'm, and I'm okay, I'm okay with change, but I just keep waking up in the night like every hour. <laughs> All right, let's have a shower. Hi, it's my second last day. I'm alive now. I was actually feeling so like just yuck before I got in the shower. Here is the fit, honestly. I'm not vibing how I look this week because there's a few things happening. My hair, don't have my jewelry. I do feel better that I washed it, but I'm just like, ugh, feeling a bit like Lord Farquaddy, you know, ew, can't, I don't want to do that. But anyway, we're gonna head into the office. I am gonna manifest that today is an easier day and we should be able to have lunch together. I really wanna get sushi. I'm so sick of, all the food I've eaten. I've eaten really heavy food since I've been here and I feel like fucking shit. I actually feel like I'm a bit like hungover from the food. Does that make sense? You know when you eat really heavy foods, you get like brain fog. I don't know, it's happening to me and I don't like that. So I'm gonna get sushi for lunch. I am going out for dinner with two of my girlfriends, which I'm so excited. We will head in. So let's manifest an easy day for me. Also, I've made a mess of this apartment. I will clean it tomorrow when we check out and when we go to work for the last day. <laughs> 
Also, look at how nice the mornings are here. The weather has been a little bit, I'm gonna say, colder than what I remember Sydney to be, but the mornings are still so sunny and crisp, and I just think we're in winter and it doesn't even feel like winter. The weather when I lived here was like one of the things that I loved about it, but yeah, one of you commented on my video saying, don't you dare move back, I'm scared. And I'm like, don't worry, nothing to be scared about. Although I think you, got, you guys are gonna freak out when you see me getting on a plane tomorrow. <laughs> Had to take the car back. Guys, I got my first ever bubble tea. Mango green tea, coconut jellies, 50% sugar and ice. You actually suck up the jelly pieces, it's delicious. Very happy with that. I also have Sushi Hub today and I went to Mecca, which I will do an unboxing later. I'm currently in this meeting room, but I think I might go eat in the kitchen because I've got to use my hands for the sushi. Anyway, I'm so happy with this. So happy. Hello, I am home guys. I went out for dinner with my girlfriends, Angie and Hannah, who you would have heard on the podcast. You would have heard about them on the podcast this morning. Where is my makeup remover? It's not there. Anyway, um, we just went to a local place, like a local, sorry, I'm just trying to, hang on. Anyway, we just went to a local, I don't know what you want to call it, pub a nice little place it was a bit cold though we were sitting outside i'm a bit worried about the makeup that i got today did i show you guys on here i can't remember if i showed you on here or maybe i showed you on tiktok i think i showed you on tiktok wow my brain's not working i bought a new um concealer and i'm trying a new foundation but i think the shade's way too dark i just put a bit on my neck and it's like way too dark anyway i'm gonna have a shower and then i'll come right back I'm in bed and I'm happy because it's 9.30 and my plan is to have an early night. But today was a good day. There was a dog in the office. One of the um, girls I work with, Sinead, she brought in her little puppy. He's a sausage dog as well and I love sausage dogs as a sausage dog owner. I don't know about other sausage dog owners but I am like fucking obsessed with them. So I get so excited when I see them and he was very cute. He let me hold him and he was giving me his belly and oh freaking love him but that was really nice and then seeing Angie and Hannah was really nice I am very much exhausted though so I was like yawning at dinner and I said I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm just like no energy but today is my last night it's Thursday tomorrow is my last day of work of nine to five corporate world I am in disbelief I can't believe it end of an era end of an era but this week has been really nice. Tomorrow is going to be a really nice last day because I do work with like literally the best people and I'm literally leaving a job that I love so much but I know that I'm making the right choice and yeah, I'm just excited to step into this next chapter with you guys. So, <sighs> big night. Why am I nervous? <laughs> also, my pyjamas are all fucked up. It's been a lot this week. I feel like this is going to be the worst vlog ever but we see Franklin tomorrow too. And we're getting a plane home, thank goodness. I have to buy a car. <laughs> Shit. Alright. I think I'll say goodnight. Sweet dreams. Mwah. Love you guys. Morning. <laughs> Last day of work. Let's pack up this apartment and get out of here, guys. <laughs> I am going to do my makeup now. I just had a shower. I'm feeling much more alive. I loved. I'm going to try that makeup that girl gave me yesterday at Mecca. I'm just so worried. I feel like it's too dark, but if it is, I'll put some more concealer on my face to like lighten it or maybe mix it in with my other foundation. Anyway, I've heard so many good things about it. It's the NARS Light Reflect. I'll come back when I'm done. Before, I'll come back in the after. How is my makeup here? Guys, she gave me the wrong shades in the foundation and the concealer and I feel so off. It's like way too dark here. But I do really like that foundation and I do like the concealer. I just need to go get new shades. Anyway, let's pack up this apartment together. I'm ready. I'm just going to pour this into here. So I only have one bottle to take with me. And then we're going to walk to the office with the suitcase, guys. It's all packed, ready to go. The suitcase, I hope it's underweight because I've got so much stuff in there. I bought all my gym stuff, Gymshark stuff so that I could shoot the content for Gymshark this week. And... 
it's made my bag quite heavy. Hopefully it's all right. Hopefully it's under 23 kilos, fingers crossed. All right, let's head in. I'm so nervous, can't believe it's my last day. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, calm down. Look at this, they got me flowers and they wrote me a card. I'm gonna show you the card when we get to the airport. I actually can't take these on the plane. So I'm gonna leave these here in the office, but how sweet. I feel so loved. It's so lovely. I've made it to the airport. Got a apple, orange and what was it? Watermelon or pineapple juice? Not watermelon, pineapple. Anyway, this is the cute card that they gave me. It has farewell. And then they also gave me a Mecca gift card. <sighs> There's a lot of feels happening right now, guys. But I'm at the airport with at least an hour to kill before we board. I'm gonna do some of my new job, which is reply to some emails and book in meetings next week, which it's so weird now thinking I am my own boss. There's people all around me. This juice is actually so yum. McDonald's. <laughs> Thank you. She looked at me in the eyes. She goes, "Yes, they're in there." So she must have recognised me. Oh, that's so cute. And she made sure. Cute. We got some cheeseburgers happening. That's Franklin growling. Oh, guys, I'm so hungry. It's How warm. Was your trip? It was good. Where's your flowers? I didn't bring them on the plane. I don't no. think you can bring flowers on the plane. They get you anything else? A Mecca gift card and a card. Did you go back and change the thing? I changed the foundation. I changed the foundation, guys. Mm -hmm. oh. I haven't, um, I did try to change the concealer as well, but they didn't have it in stock, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the concealer. <sighs> I'm so hungry. Say hello, everybody. I miss my mummy. I cried so much when she came home. I cried. <laughs> Did you miss me, Frank? What do you think of me quitting my job? I think you've made the right decision and I'm really excited and <laughs> I can't wait now for you to just take the world by its horns. And <laughs> You're so cute. I'm excited. I'm, I just can't, I'm so excited and I'm so proud. Oh, I love you. I love you too, honey. Cuties. Aren't we, aren't we proud, Franklin? Little Frank's here. There he is. Little cutie pie. And Carla and Mel are back. Hi guys. Hello. Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. I, I was oh, trying to hide. I know. Are you, <laughs> like, are you talking to them? Yeah. yeah. I, what do you think of me quitting my <laughs> job? Fuck yeah. 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 Fuck the system. <laughs> and we'll ask dad when he comes back as well. Franklin's excited. He hasn't seen me all week. He hasn't seen them all week. He was like, all my humans are home. <laughs> dad just had a shower. What do you think, Dad, of me quitting my job? I am so proud of you. I really am. Not just because you're my daughter. Aww. All your accomplishments. All your accomplishments. <laughs> you're so cute. From school, going to uni, going through separations with these guys. <laughs> We, I get to buy a car now, so that's exciting. What car do you think she should buy? I reckon a sports car. I think I want another Mazda. I think she needs to get a manual. <laughs> what do you mean a manual? No. <laughs> my mum did all my washing <laughs> while I was gone. Thank you, mum, love you. And I've come back to all my online shopping. My Kmart order arrived. Those, that plasticky thing for my coffee satchels. I have a delivery from Chic. I've actually got all these clothes to put away as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, it's announced everywhere. It's announced on LinkedIn. It's announced on Instagram. It's announced on TikTok. You guys would have heard it maybe this morning. If you're watching this on Sunday night, you would have heard it this morning on the vlog. I mentioned it right at the end. I am feeling excited. 
I'm feeling grateful. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling exhausted. I've had a lot of emotions come up for me during this whole process ever since the day I resigned. Uh, I have left a job that I truly, genuinely loved wholeheartedly. And I think it has even been magical and eye-opening for me to see that I could become so fulfilled and could find joy in a different kind of work. And I think even if you see how I am on the day that like I record a podcast episode, for example, or the stress I get when I can't get my YouTube videos up, it's because I love making this content and I just think to myself and th this was a main like driver for me and I'm going to make another video about it and go into a lot more detail but imagine what it will look like if I give it all of my energy. Imagine. And I truly believe that when you say yes to things and that's why I declined the job when I got offered it, remember? <laughs> I was like, I can't say yes to that and energetically tell the universe that I want that because I don't. I want this. I want a successful podcast. I want a successful YouTube channel. I want to have my own products, <laughs> services. Like I'm talking like full blown business and I've not owned my own business before. This is new for me, but if I could succeed working for another company, exceeding my targets for another company, smashing sales for another company, what makes me think I won't succeed for myself? I put 120% effort in all the time to whatever I do. And I'm excited to step into this chapter. And I'm excited because I'm doing it with you guys who are literally the fucking best, if I can swear and say that, because you are. And I have said this before, my favorite thing about all of this is always you guys. It's you guys because without you, it's nothing. You allow me to hold the space and I've always said that from day one it's not about me but I'm forever forever grateful for you guys because I couldn't do it without you <laughs> so thank you and I love you thank you for watching the vlog this week I know it's been a lot in the last I'm going to say five weeks I actually resigned five weeks ago and the reason that I chose not to say anything and sorry I will quickly just ramble a little bit but I wanted to wait until it was done before I put it out into the world because I know that people are going to have questions and I know I've already had some people saying but what's your new job um and so hopefully after this vlog that makes a little bit more sense I have a lot of thoughts feels and stuff that I will go through in the next video I'm going to make I think a life update kind of video and I'll go through literally everything in more context so you can absolutely see where I'm coming from and what's coming and all the cool things happening but guys I love you I hope you have a great week I hope I don't have any problems editing this fucking video but we'll see you on Sunday night good night I love you Mwah. big kisses thank you again from the bottom of my heart I love you